Well, hello there, you wonderful humans. And welcome to The Wandering Village. A brand new game uh, that I've really, really been excited for. It's, um, essentially what it is, is a, like, post-apocalyptic city builder that allows you to build on top of a wandering giant. And I thought the game looked amazing. Like, I, I've, I've been keeping, keeping tabs on it for, for a while. It officially releases on September 14th, so in just a few days. And the developers reached out and were kind enough to give me a key to play it early, so... I do hope you all enjoyed today's live stream, and sorry for the, uh, the troubles. Um, tried to go live on the last live stream, and it said I was live, and there was just a black screen, so thank you to everybody who switched over from the, uh, from the previously scheduled live stream and popped over here, and sorry for getting such a late start today, but YouTube can be a bit of a pain sometimes. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and hop into this. We've got Novice, Adept, and Veteran. Uh, you start in safe, familiar territory, take care of your village as you slowly venture into more dangerous regions. I think... I feel like that sounds right. New save file, fail boat. Boom. Driven from our homes by the toxic spores, we kept wandering, looking for shelter. I recommended you for a key. Aw, oh, Jamie, that's awesome. wildest dreams did we imagine what we would find. Very interesting, uh, but I thought it was just a really interesting concept for a game, so uh, excited to get into this. This is a, a city builder. You've you've all seen me play many, many a city builder at this point, I think. Uh, maybe. Oh, we can name everybody. That's going to be fun. So they need a house. I really the art style is so interesting for this, too. And if we zoom out. Oh, wow. Look at that. That's cool. I've missed so many streams, my database is overflowing. Aw, Tiff and I. I hope you've been well. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! Interesting. So this is going to be where we're traveling through. Oh, that's... I wonder if it changes, like, the resources or, like, the weather as, as this wandering giant wanders around. I just lost 20% of my couch. Ouch. Oh, my God. <laughs> Tiff and I. Uh, all right, so let's uh, let's build these people a home. I was fascinated with the artwork. Also, uh, <laughs> uh, my brain's not working very well right now. I uh, I did not want to get out of bed today. You ever just have those days where it's just like I wish I could just stream from bed. So we've got tents, a worker post, and a research building. So that costs five wood. So I'm assuming we need to harvest. So if I click that, oh, and it's like a little balloon. Tag streams are the best place to be on a Saturday night. Oh, thank you, Paprika. Far too kind. Far too kind. Stop. My wallet is already crying. Also so excited about the Aragon plush. Oh, thank you, LJ. And I'm so sorry. <laughs> so sorry. I do have three keys to give away. I'll, I'll do that in, uh, in the Discord later today. Streaming bread is for a different type of stream. I mean, the pan- There will be clothes. I just- It sounds like it would be nice and comfy. <laughs> it's a different kind of live stream. <laughs> oh, Lord have mercy. Alright, so where do I want to build the main- I feel like we should put, like, all the houses right on the edge. I would say tag it's 5.45 p.m., but I suppose I just got up from a nap, too. Ha! Maureen! Ah, yeah. Living that life. But yeah, thank you all for coming to hang out uh, today for something new, something different. I still wanted to play Disney Dreamlight Valley today, but I was like, mm-mm, gotta check this out. We've got a water tank, material storage, and a pantry. I think I'm gonna put the material storage, like, right here. Some days I don't love being a waiter, but it puts food on the table. Ugh. Oh boy. Lord have mercy. Nola no cola. This feels like a prem uh, premise of Nausicaa, but in Age of Empires. I really like the art style. 
I do wish I could rotate the camera a little bit, but I can understand why it's not, because it is a 2D game. It just feels... different. I don't know. I like it. It's nifty. It's really interesting being able to play in a 2D game where you can kind of, like, do all this stuff. It's like 2D and 3D. It's so... weird, but in a good way. What's up, Tag? Oh, I got a blue corgi now. Killer Bryn, thank you for the seven months! Uh, a research building. I think I'll squirt that. Actually, we'll put the worker post next to the storage facility. And then we need ten more wood. Killer Bryn, thank you so much for the seven months. Just woke up for work. And you're streaming, it's gonna be a good day. Aw, nurse! Hope you have a wonderful day. Thank you for coming to hang out for a bit. Miss Delina, how are you doing? So what is this? Focus general workers. There's a lot of stuff going on here. So we've got cold, normal. Anbu is currently lying down. Ground toxicity is none. Wait, are we going to poop on this thing's back and make it all toxic? That would be terrible. I'm so glad that it has a name, though. Anbu, huh? Oh, yeah. So we can go right to the town, right back to the big old map. Such a cool concept for a game. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just fascinated. I like exploring things when, when something new. Currently introducing my friend to your channel. We're both loving the vibe of the game. Ah, Hannah! Welcome, Hannah's friend. Uh, research building. Put that bad boy right here. We'll boink it in there like so. With some roads. Some biomes are toxic. Ew. I do kind of feel bad that a bunch of people are going to be, you know, doing human things on top of this thing's back. I've been playing Dreamlight Valley since 6 a.m. this morning, and I don't want to stop. And no, I don't have a problem with that. <laughs> I feel that. I do have to check out Temtem. Um, have any of you been playing Temtem? Have y'all been enjoying it? Has it been a thing that brings happiness? I remember playing, trying to play it when it first released way back in the day. Way in the way back when. At least no alcohol abused. <laughs> uh, I don't even want to think about alcohol. I am uh, feeling the repercussions. I'm getting way too old to be uh, drinking that much. <laughs> and uh, Hannah, thank you for the 26 months. Congratulations on the Rainbow Corgi, by the way. Today feels like a pun day. I promise it's my last one. Did you hear the story about the tornado? There's a real twist at the end. Oh no. Oh no. Coming in hot with the tornado jokes. I don't know where this road is going, but I feel like... It should go this way. I have no reason for it. So we got a berry gatherer. That seems like it's going to be a pretty important job. Let's put that here. Because they're about to run out of berries, it looks like. And then we can... Oh, we can get a farm, too. So I wonder if there is different types of fertility... Like this, this spot I can't seem to build on, or I, I don't know if I can build on that. An air well automatically extracts water from the air. Works better at higher humidity levels. No water is produced in deserts. Interesting. I'm gonna put that bad boy right there. Uh, choose your next research. A horn blower. <laughs> Used to issue commands to Anbu. Oh, that's cool. Which it may or may not follow. <laughs> of course. Uh, allows you to click on crossroads on the world map to decide where to go. That's cool. I think I want the kitchen first, though. Oh, dude, is this a scientist? It's a Rourke. Alright, well, Rourke, you're gonna be spicy today. Or should I say, spicy. Spicy. 
And then we got... Instead of dances, we're just gonna go with pigs. Perfect. And then we've got good old Totoro. Like that. Get another one. Who does this? This can be jammy. Tay Tay in the house. You know what? I'm just gonna leave Brook because I know we've got a Brook in the community, so we might as well <laughs> keep that one. That worked out well. And we got tight. I sure do miss blowing my horn. I was a trumpet player in marching band. Oh, Lord. Lord, have mercy. <laughs> Me, because I recommended you get a key. Didn't I put, didn't I just put you in there? 99% sure I did. 98% sure I did. Jamie! Okay, what else do we need? We've got uh, a water tank. Stores 100 water. That seems like it would be very important. We have no wood. Oh, shoot. I forgot I have to keep telling them to do wood things. We're gonna run out. Which means... Do we have a way of planting wood? One would hope. Obu interaction. A mycologist? Carpenter and stone cutter. Okay. Okay. Harvest trees. Played the demo of this a while ago. It's an interesting game. I, th I thought it looked really cool, so excited to get to check it out. You did? I sent it before you named me? I don't know about all that. There's a long delay. I forgot to put the... Uh, since I rushed setting up the stream, I f it's on normal latency instead of low latency. Whoa, Ombu's waking up. Where you going, Boo? What you doing? You got f six legs. Very interesting. I feel like that middle leg would cause problems. Anyways. I'm sure there's some kind of naughty joke in there somewhere. Berry hut. Collects berries from nearby berry bushes without damaging them. The more berry bushes surround the building, the more efficient it is. Oh. Whoops. Can I move it? <laughs> I should probably read things before I uh, build them. Let's uh, do this a little bit smarter, right? I want to try and get as many of these berries as we can. So if I get rid of this one by harvesting it, I should be able to put the building right there and then we can have all of those berries around it. That may not be a leg. I see, I knew it. Don't be leg shaming my boo. <laughs> my bow. On bow. Alright, so we got some water doing water collecting things. I feel like we should probably build a farm. Right? One farm. And right here seems maybe like a good idea. Can you pick up that, please? It's, it's in the way. You can also... You can just place it to be built. They'll clear the resources on top of it. Ew, I saw the red and it was... I thought it was like, no. Hey, Mika, how are you? What it do, what it do. I think we need some more wood. Oh, shoot, we need more houses. <laughs> Everybody's very upset about not having houses. So two villagers, how many villagers do we have? Have they started banging yet? And like, making more villagers? Why don't I see a number? 
16. Okay, so we need a total of at least eight houses. <laughs> Stores of various materials, 30 of each. But it doesn't store berries? Hmm. Maybe that's with the pantry. Ah, yeah, stores all kinds of food. Perfect. Is this on Steam? Uh, it'll be releasing officially on Steam on the 14th. I like the audio and everything. The sound, like, sound design is really good. This has an airbender kind of vibe to it. Good on Boo, just doing his thing. Ooh, what is this? A settlement? One of only a few remaining settlements that has not yet been swallowed by the poisonous plants. Some villagers might want to join us on Anbu. Depending on your villagers' happiness. Intriguing. There's a mine, Anbu feeding spot, and a forest. This is so cool. I love this. Tags like that one relative at the hallway dinner. At the hall hallway? Hallway dinner? Holiday dinner? Man, I am struggling. I haven't been this hungover in a very long time. <laughs> oh lord. One. Two. This game is making me feel better though. It's got all the vibes that I needed today. We need 15 quid. Uh, boop. Get that word. Hey, hallway dinners are fire, okay? Don't, uh... <laughs> don't disrespect the hallway dinner. So you're basically managing fleas on the back of a large land turtle. Yep. I need some hangover foods. <laughs> Had a hot pocket earlier, that was pretty good. My, every day, the most exciting part of my day, other than streaming, is when I get to eat my Hot Pocket. <laughs> I live a very simple life. I've been on a very, like, hardcore diet, but I still, I was like, okay, <laughs> my, my treat is a Hot Pocket at the end of the day. <laughs> Which doesn't sound right for a diet, but good lord. It's got the cheesy, meaty, greasy goodness that your body just craves a little bit. <laughs> It's funny because I haven't had Hot Pockets in a very long time and suddenly they're like crack. I had Starbucks to prevent hangover and also started drinking early. Ah, <laughs> oh, poutine is the way to go. What flavor Hot Pocket? So I used to be, my favorite Hot Pockets used to be the, the meatball ones. Um, but I've gone back to the oldie but the goodie, the pepperoni Hot Pocket. It's because it's Caden's favorite. And, uh... You know, there's just something about it. It's just, uh, it's just good stuff, you know? Man, I cannot seem to get enough wood. How much wood do I get from a tree? Oh no, am I- Hold the phone, am I not harvesting? Am I just- No, I'm definitely harvesting it. I was like, what if I'm just destroying the tree accidentally? And they're not, like, saving the wood. Love it. Can't always diet. You gotta live. <laughs> Truth. Alright, so we got our berry gatherers. They're doing berry gatherer things. I think the next we'll prioritize this. My hangover cure in college was always a quarter pounder with a large crisp, uh, large crispy sprite from McDonald's. Oh. Oh, man. So, when I lived in New York, I had one very, very specific thing that I would need to get for like my hangover. There, and I was reminiscing about this when I when I went back and visited. 
because uh, there's a specific gas station. I can't- I can picture the gas station. I suddenly can't remember the name of it, though. They're in New York. They have ice cream. Oh my god. I keep wanting to say Starbucks, but that's not it. Ooh, a village doctor or a scavenger hut? Send out workers to scavenge rare resources and find new villagers. Ooh. Oh, both of these sound... I feel like... I'm gonna get poisoned, and I should probably have a village doctor. Um, Stewarts, thank you! Jesus, Danielle! Oh my god, Stewarts, yes. So there's a gas station called Stewarts, and they had these, like, uh, red hot dogs with this chili that you could put onto it. So it was... <laughs> I can't remember what the hot dogs are called, but anyways, uh, but I also so I would get I would get one of those red hot dogs with the chili on it and Then I would also get salt and vinegar chips with hell of a good French onion dip and whoo Oh, so good Got a job as a teacher and getting out of retail finally. Thanks for all the good relaxing streams excited to see more streams with normal hours Oh Taylor congratulations Thank you so much for the support. I wish you the best on your new journey. It's awesome. All right, we definitely need a water tank. Squirt that bad boy in here. Mm -hmm. Right here. Will agree uh, to that. Plus one for Wawa. What is Wawa? Uh, Kieran, have a wonderful day. Oh, look! This villager's happy. Who is that? We've got Marola here. Um, so we'll do th this. can be Kieran. And then we've got. Ah, uh, yes, Harwell. Uh, Talon? Sammy! What it do? What it do? Boom, you now have a human. Cannot st stock up on wood yet. I'm getting very concerned with the wood situation, though. I'm assuming, like, we can, when we get to stop... Ooh, there's a mushroom. <laughs> Produce talon, like a bird's claw. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, man. Rome, thank you for coming to Super Bean. Also, ladies and gentlemen, if you have not picked up your Aragon plushie, uh, I believe if we go to makeship.com... Oh, I don't have the camera on today. Uh, the Aragon Squishy, you have 13 days, 1 hour, and 54 minutes to still be able to pick up your uh, Aragon plushie, if you so desire. I'll put a link in the chat here. Bum, ba -bum, ba -bum. Window capture. That's... There we go. Can I do it? Hey, there it is. See? But yeah, we had 100% funding on the Aragon plushie, which is amazing. Uh, so they will fulfill all the orders up until the, you know, the final day. And then after that, it'll never be made again. Limited edition Aragon squishy. Get it meow. It's a lot easier to do that when I can just show it on the camera, but my camera's not working right now for some reason. Not sure what I did to it. Well, I know what I did to it. But it's the, uh... The Elgato cam link thing likes to not work for some reason. Alright, we got enough houses, but I want to keep adding more houses on the off chance that we suddenly get, like, a large influx of beans. I ordered four plushies. Oh my god, Tiff and I. <laughs> to be fair, I also will have- I ordered three myself, uh, and then I got one for free, the, the one that I was showing off. Um, I've been traveling for a week out of contact and it's already funded. Ah! Kamari! Welcome back. Bloof, what it doof! Had the best day today. Did outreach and top- Oh my god. 12 foot Burmese pie- <sighs> Terrifying. Positively terrifying. 
I saw a snake giant. So I was, I think I was doing dishes and I was looking out the window and I was like, oh, there's a giant stick in my yard, like in the, in the backyard, like on uh, where the pool was. And uh, like this thing was, it was, it was, it was hefty. Um, and then I, I walked away from the window, came back and it was gone. So there was a giant snake in my backyard. And needless to say, that was about a month ago. And I have not gone outside since. Yep. I have not gone outside since. Cactus plantation. Ooh. That'll be nice. Ooh, a tomato plantation. So let's see here. We can plant beets. Interesting. Add a plot. This is cool. Huh. Snakes are friendos. <laughs> I told you Tyke just wants to be friends. <laughs> yeah. As long as it's not a copperhead. That's there's a lot of them around here. I don't know. I don't know what copperheads look like. I don't know what it was. Personally think spiders are worse than snakes. It's because they're sneaky. Oh, so sneaky. Oh, we need stones now. Oh, oh harvest only fully grown objects. That's a good idea. And then gamers is why we don't go outside. <laughs> yep. All right, so we've got sustenance going. We've got Anbu traveling like an awesome Anbu thing. And we have- that's a pantry, right? Right there? Yep. We've got our water tank. And that's the water tank getting built. We've got some houses. Everybody's happy. We're pleased. I feel like... What's this? Storage full. Shoo! Jay! I have a house in Puerto Rico, and the boas are a huge problem. They're everywhere. Guess that's what you gotta deal with when you live in the jungle. Good lord. I take the snakes over snow any day, though? Mmm. I don't know about that. Copperheads look brown and mean. They're usually smaller, so it may have been a king snake that eats the poisonous snake, so friend snake. Whatever it was, it was thick and it was a snake and uh, I don't go outside anymore <laughs> maybe a slight overreaction ah yes mycologist plants and harvest mushroom is an ingredient for anbu food ooh must be planted on dirt soil place it right here trash panda how are ya Glad to see you here. And Alina, we had a cat that used to hunt snakes on the regular, but we only have harmless snakes here. It's a brave cat -o right there. Alright, where are we headed on, Boo? Ooh, oh, it's raining over there. Interesting. We found a fresh spot for food for Anbu. Such an interesting concept. Anbu grumbles unhappily as it feels its spike being torn out. Whoa! Uh-oh. I didn't know I... Is that bad? Short temperature trap might affect the growth of your plants. Oh no. Oh, Anbu, why are you taking us through the snowlands? What are you doing? We gotta build that blowhorn thing. <laughs> it's just the humans that make me want to stay inside. Truth. Truth. Hmm. 
Need me a blue horn. I don't want to make Anbu sad. So are these... Anbu Spike can be harvested, but reduces Anbu Trust. Whoops. All right. Noted. I will remember that. <laughs> it's definitely not worth it. Maybe Anbu will appreciate the mushrooms. Gato is drunk, enjoying this game. <laughs> Pinchy, you know, just for you. Oh, no. oh, I thought this thing's name was on fire. I was like, oh, no. This is not going to bode well for us. Hornblower must control the Anbu. What did I just research? A village doctor and an herbalist. An herbalist. That bad boy right there, and then we'll do a village doctor right here. <clears throat> no, don't hurt the Anbu. I quit a save file if it looks like Anbu is going to die. I can't handle it. Oh my god, I didn't know Anbu could die. That's so tragic. Oh, that's crazy. Thanks for the Dreamlight videos. Potato Farm got me 500,000 gold. Nice! How did you get all the way to potatoes already? That is awesome. You need a carpenter and stone cutter? Okay, I might as well build those. Now that we're actually getting a decent amount of resources built. One carpenter. And then we'll put it in here. And a stone cutter. I don't know if we really even need the roads, but I'm gonna keep putting them in. Chris! Playing Dreamlight Valley, channeling my inner tag, wearing booty shorts and lace-up boots. Nice! Wally is following me way too close since I put this on. <laughs> Trying to get a good view. Ugh. Craziness. Play lots more Dreamlight Valley. I was gonna play more today, but I wanted to check out a new game today. We'll be like playing tomorrow. Ooh, Anbu's at a crossroads. We can't do anything though, because we don't have the horn blower built. A group of nomads looking for a new home. Like, how do we stop at these things? Oh, build a sc oh, scavenger hut. Got it. It's like, do I enables researching new buildings and like technologies? It's like, I almost wonder if I should build another one of those. One herbalist. Look, <laughs> Club Penguin is Disney. What if they added Club Penguin World? <laughs> really like the game so far. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. I like that there's like little bits of variation for, for these houses too. Pretty nifty. Although I don't think we have... Our people need to start, like, getting their groove on, squirting out some babies or something. We need, we need more people. Jamie, I can't play Stardew when my mom is in the living room because my PC is in the living... Aw. With all the 174 mod I have the game strip club. <laughs> oh no, Jamie, you downloaded the <laughs> the naughty mod pack. Oh no. 
Yeah. <laughs> Definitely want to hide that one. Oh, I hope you're doing well. But I don't like to watch streams of games I'm currently playing because I feel like it spells all the surprises. Ah, that's fair enough, Jay. Completely understandable. They don't procreate? <sighs> hmm. Well, that's a shame. Um, Anbu looks so sad. Humidity normal. Beats per minute. Three? Interesting. Very interesting. Which way did Anbu decide to go? Nice! That's the way I would have wanted to go. So that's good. So we got some beets growing. I feel like we probably need more beets. What are you doing to that beet? Whoa, are you... That's how you eat it? I ain't beet shaming nobody, but... Look a little odd. <laughs> on boost, that's the rules. Number one, no banging on my back. Ah, <laughs> oh, they just want to have fun. I've made a live in a while. Nice to see you, Rachel. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Build a little road. And we'll uh, get some more housing built. Just in case we do acquire some people. Okay, so we need the stone slab now. So we need to prioritize these. Beat shaming. Unacceptable. Unsubscribed. <laughs> Love this game has changed so much since I started beta testing in March. It looks... I'm very, very pleasantly surprised. This place contains some fresh food for Anbu. Nice! Get your fill, Anbu. I'm out of wood per usual. What you doing, Anbu? Oh, he's eating. Look. Oh, he's just tonguing it up. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And then what's up here? Anbu sleeping spot. Oh, nice. Very nice. Oh, nice, Gilly. What game is this? I don't know, I can't read either. This is The Wandering Village. It's a brand new game releasing on September 14th. Uh, actually, I need to put a link to the store page on the Steam... I need to put a link to the Steam page in the description. There we go. How do I share it? Share. Copy. Link copied. Let's check out the Wandering Village on Steam. Boop. Nice. But yeah, so it's, um, I mean, it's pre pretty self-explanatory now that we're into the game of what it is. Uh, there's basically a post-apocalyptic world where these poisonous vines are kind of taking over the world, and uh, we have now have a civilization that's able to be built up on top of this wandering giant Anbu. And there's a lot of, it's, it's actually a really, really interesting concept. Because one, obviously we're able to have like the regular city building stuff here. But then Anbu also, we have to make sure Anbu stays alive. So Anbu is not hungry. No poisonous levels and getting a little sleepy. 
But then we also have this map that Anbu travels through. So we need to unlock the horn, which will allow us to direct where Anbu should go. Um, and then we're able to collect resources and things along the way. It's it's really cool. Probably one of the, the most unique civilization building ideas for a game I've seen in a while. <clears throat> Words are hard. Oh my god, yeah. I've got the heavy brain dumps today. I am struggling. Harvest trees. Only fully grown trees. I think we need another water collector. What is that? Oh shoot, I forgot about the kitchen. Such spoopy noises. He's almost to his sleeping spot, though. What is this guy doing? Jammy, what are you doing? Just, I'm just sitting there watching everybody work. How rude. I really need to, like, research how to... This place is unaffected by poison and looks comfortable for Anbu to sleep in. Nice. I am gonna be devastated if Anbu dies. Positively devastated. Anbu sits. Look at our precious baby! Oh, it's like snuggling into the trees. So cool. No Anbu doctor built, and no Anbu <laughs> Anbu feeding. Oh my god, bro! You feed it with a trebuchet. So I'm assuming they like came up the tail and climbed up that way. While I was sleeping or something? I don't know. Interesting noises. If Anbu dies, I will cry. Like I did in the Endling stream. <laughs> I know the roads help, but how much do they help? I just joined, but I'm so excited I was hoping you would play this. Aha, welcome, Alex. Hope you're doing well. Imagine one day their back itches. Bye-bye, people. Yeah, what happens if Anbu decides to roll over one day? We just get yeeted. Can you go down off of him while he's sleeping? I don't think so. Uh, we can build a scavenger hunt if we can research it. Um, which allows us to send people out to recruit other people. I don't know if building another research thing actually helps speed up the research process. I'm going to assume that it does, and we're going to try it. We're going to speed things up now, too. I wonder what happened to Anbu's other horn. 
Yeah, they had to, like, come up the tail. Like, that's the only logical way that they could have gotten up here, I think. Yeah, definitely don't give Anbu a belly rub. Dangerous, dangerous, dangerous. Oh, oh, we're moving. Oh, and we finished our hornblower research. Which is good. Whoa! Scavenger hut. Confirm. Life lesson of the day. Don't roll into the Taco Bell drive-thru and order a crap load of tacos. They're not impressed and told me to try again. Really? Man, they didn't have a... No sense of humor. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that should just be a standard measurement of tacos. Like, if you order a crap load of tacos, they should just get you, like, 20 tacos. <clears throat> Is 20 tacos enough, though? I don't know. God, now I want Taco Bell. Ugh. Oh. That sounds so good right now. It's like a baker's dozen. <laughs> we definitely need more people. I think that's the only thing that's slowing us down right now. I am concerned about the tree situation. Ooh, wait. It says we've encountered a small group of villagers. How do I let them join? Is that them right? Where are they? Taco Bell finds Chris! Sweet baby Jesus. Thank you, Chris. How do I, how do I bring the people? Ah. You encountered a small group of nomads looking for a new home. Will you let them join your village? Yes. Yes, I will. You can't just leave people out there. And three healthy people joined. That's nice. Chris, thank you so much. Well, I guess I'm ordering Taco Bell now. Hmm. I was thinking earlier, I was like, I wonder if I, I should just do a live stream titled, uh, How Long Will It Take an Idiot to Solve a Rubik's Cube? And I literally just live stream trying to solve a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> I've never finished one, ever. <laughs> I was like, maybe this will be the thing that makes me finally do it. Will be the most entertaining stream ever. There's the power bowls at Taco Bell? No, nah, I just want a chicken quesadilla. And then it ends in five minutes. Yeah, imagine. <laughs> just miraculously solve it the fastest I've ever solved. Or I've never solved a Rubik's Cube. Shoot, I don't think I've ever even tried since I was like. Shoot, I must have been like 11 or 12. Research building constructed. I don't... Something tells me it's not going to help speed it up. And then you do a 24-hour stream because you can't stop until you finish it. <laughs> Oh, it would be terrible. I tried to solve one as a child, because my mom was good in it. I could never do it, I just threw it in the trash. <laughs> Sounded kind of spoopy out here.
A ruined settlement. Kitchen village doctor. One horn blower. Intr so I'm guessing it needs to be near its head. Yep. Honk. Ah, thank you, Jamie. Anbu evacuated its bowels. I am so glad the game tells me that. <laughs> at least... Well, at least... I mean, everything poops, right? So... It's just the way it, way it works. Mmm. Anbu Kitchen. Makes mushrooms into Anbu food. Ah, yeah, let's get it. Which means... Our... Uh, scavenger hut, there we go. Oh, it needs to be near the edges. Interesting, okay. Well, I very much prioritize building of that. <laughs> what a terrifying experience it must be to be just living your life on the back of a giant turtle thing and then it just explosively poops everywhere. Like, I imagine the size of these poops would be ungodly. Like, the smell alone. Pinchy, thank you for the turd. Denise, what'd it do? Oh, Noxie, yeah. <laughs> what an utterly terrifying experience that must be. So what I'm thinking is if I build a material storage out here, maybe they'll chop trees faster. I'm eating meatballs for dinner. <laughs> You've not been getting notifications? I'm sorry. It's because I run my YouTube channel the worst way possible. But, uh... And we started a little late today, too. Anbu feeding spot. See, we do need to... We need to get Anbu to feed. Hopefully, Anbu will decide to turn right up here. Because we don't have our horn yet. Hello, Anne. Hello from Earth's butt. I don't make it to many live streams, but I love your content. I'm definitely a lurker. Hashtag lurkers unite. And thank you so much for being a part of the community. And good morning to you. How would its farts be? Its farts just like cause like hurricanes. <laughs> Freak weather events. Neon Batman. Thank you for the for the poo. Did I watch the Ubisoft Assassin's Creed thing? I did not, but I did look at the stuff after it came out. Super excited about uh, Codename Red. Super, super excited for that one. Man, thank you to all the, uh, you wonderful lurkers out there. I hope y'all are doing well. Yes, feeding trebuchet. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right. So now we got to figure out where to put that. If I could figure out how to get enough resources for it. Ah. 
Low priority. Low priority. High priority and high priority. Perfect. Giddy machine! Of course I remember playing Eternal Cylinder. And we got plenty of Anbu food now. Low productivity. Ew. Oh, we're in a desert. That's not good. Oh, that's not good at all. It's a big old desert, too. And we're going to be sleeping here. Oh, shoot. Oh, we're going to run out of water. You want to play it so bad? Eternal Cylinder? Oh, slow down time. Stop. How do I... There we go. Jesus. We got to figure out this water problem. I wish there was a way to tell... If, like, a specific area is more moist than the rest? Do it, kitty machine. Get it. Live your best life. Live it up. I still need to finish that one. Oh, what's this? Fresh air. Free from any toxins. Sweet! Our poor little baby is so hungry. If it dies, do you colonize the corpse? I mean, we can't... So, hum like, the... You basically can't really live... Like, on the ground anymore. Like, there's, uh... We, we run into, like, nomads and things like that and try and pick them up. But for the most part... Ooh, bro's yawning. Looks like it... Wait, Eternal Cylinder's not out? I could have swore it was out. Eternal Cylinder. Oh, it's because it's, um... It's on Epic Game Store. I believe. If memory serves. But it's releasing on Steam. Alright, speed up. Oh, yeah, we're out of water. Shoot. Oh, this is not good. Oh, I don't think we're going to live through this. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, this is... <laughs> this is crazy. It's so interesting. I really love the concept for this game. I think maybe what we need to do is disable our crops for a little bit. Since we don't really have any water. Anbu Doctor! Yes! We need the cactus plantation though, because uh, we are boned right now. Am I going to cover Diablo 4 when it comes out? Yeah, the next year for games is is going to be pretty lit. Oh, man. So we've got the, the new Assassin's Creed, which I think is going to be pretty good. I hope. Uh, we've got Hogwarts Legacy, the new God of War, Ragnarok, uh, the new Pokemon coming out. Oh, my God. Breath of the Wild 2, Diablo 4. Oh, there's so many games. 2023 gonna be lit. Alright. 
I really need to figure out how to get more trees. You encountered a small group of nomads. Yes, join me. Please don't be sick. Ooh, two healthy people. Noise. Hey, the horn is done. Assassin's Creed Mirage looks amazing. I hope they uh, they kind of start changing up the model of the Assassin's Creed games a bit. Make it more better. Oh, you know what? We need to store stones. So we need wood planks now. Beautiful. But yeah, I do hope everybody's enjoying this. Uh, if you are, a like would be greatly appreciated. Let the YouTube algorithm know uh, you want more. Plus, I mean, the more eyes that get on this, the more support for the, you know, the indie developers that built this game. I think uh, I think it's pretty freaking awesome. How do I make a berry plantation? We've got B. Oh, I change it in here. Let's do that. So now we can. Yeah, now we can grow cactuses. That's pretty sweet. Build another farm. And on this farm, we'll do corn. What about Starfield? <laughs> Who knows when that's going to come out? <laughs> Who knows? These berry pickers are not able to pick berries fast enough. Our people are starving. Barely have any water. It is not looking good for us. I was playing this game last night. I was really enjoying it. Super cool. This guy's like just looking at me in the eyes like, I am hungry. Feed me. Oh, we gotta feed on boo too. Finally got our scavenger's hut. Uh, let's see here. So we got a settlement. Uh, some villagers might want to join on on boo, depending on your villagers' happiness. Let's, let's try it out. I mean, our villagers are very happy. Population level camp. Total housing good for 28. I mean, they're about to be starving to death. <laughs> it's a slight problem. But for the most part, they're doing okay. So hungry, he's breaking the fourth wall. Exactly. <laughs> Oh, I can't harvest those big ones yet. What is this? You encountered a group of settlers looking for a new home. Pick them up, baby. Ooh. Oh, we got two hungry and two healthy people joined. <laughs> Whoops. Hmm. Man, look at them cacti. Uh, Joe up. Have a wonderful night. That ought 
to do it. We don't want to plant beets. We want some corn, baby. Fip died. <gasps> oh no. Oh, and hopefully they didn't starve. <laughs> Tala! I just saw what is happening. So Tag is killing people on top of an old giant turtle. That sounds about right. <laughs> Excuse me. I'm not killing... I'm, I'm not trying to kill them. So we can lie down, we can walk... Oh, and we can run! That seems dangerous. That seems like a positively horrible idea, in fact. Where's our Anbu food slinger? There it is. So we need an Anbu kitchen. And then we need an Anbu food slinger. Just yeeting that food. I'm sorry they did starve. <laughs> God. Maybe we need another berry picker. Efficiency 71%. 49. I'll take the 71%, I think. Mm. More people, more better. Yes, and they're healthy. Boom, baby. Not enough workers available, but of course. Whew. Gato's gone. Oh no. A dung collector? What? Collects dung from Anbu, which can be used to produce biogas and fertilizer. Oh lord have mercy. Well that explains why we know when they poop now. A dune. A dune with fine sand. A quarry. What is that? A short heat wave. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Wait, which way's north? North? Please. <laughs> no, no heat wave. Anbu doesn't trust your commands. Anbu! <laughs> no. I will feed you. I will feed you. Mm. I feel bad for the poop collector because that's a lot of oh yeah, that's that's going to be rough. It's a rough job. This is not good. Mm. Trying to figure out. Need more people. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. A ruined settlement, much like our old home. A few desperate survivors or leftover food can be found here. Oh boy. I should probably make more like uh, research party people. Alright, 
Alright, we're not dying. We are almost able to feed Anbu. Anbu's about to starve to death. Oh, Christ. What is this? Anbu food. Yes. We got two of those bad boys. Uh-oh. Aww. Laying down for a little nap. Oh, we gotta feed him. Yes. There we go. Anbu food. Launch Anbu food with a trebuchet. Not allowed until conditions are met. Constipator? <laughs> oh no. Look at that! That's awesome! Anbu's such a good bean. Yoink. <laughs> oh, I don't have any more food. But Anbu's not starving anymore, so I feel pretty good about that. We're able to make water again now, which is really nice. And we're actually starting to store water, which is a Christmas miracle. Sweet, and Anbu found food. Perfect! Where is the beast heading? Wherever Anbu wants to go. Anbu does what Anbu wants. We very much need to stockpile food. Anbu evacuated its bowels. <laughs> oh god! Entry, farm, dung collector. Yep, has to be near the butt. I, I am so sorry. A bile extractor extracts bile from Ombu's gallbladder. Oh lord, I think we should get the, uh, man, we're gonna kill this poor thing. That doesn't sound safe at all. Oh, nice. We got 13 wood for that. Oasis with fresh water. Ancient artifact containing ancient knowledge. Ooh. Jamie, thank you for the 10 gift memberships. Thank you so much. Thank you, Jamie. And welcome to all the new members. It's raining members. Hallelujah. It's raining members. <laughs> oh, that's a freaking tornado. What? Oh my god, did we just miss it? What is this? Oh, a poison forest. That doesn't sound pleasant at all, in fact. Already scavenged. <laughs> 
This game should be called the Parasite Simulator. <laughs> I mean, it's true. It is true. Look at this thing. Man. I wonder if we just abandoned that scavenging party. <laughs> That'd be terrible. I think it would be a really good investment to make another another one of those, though. Something tells me I'm a wannabe finding more things. Ooh, sawmill. Produces wood by mining giant trunks on Anbu's back. Ooh. Gonna play some Dreamlight Valley? Oh yeah. Get it. You have to do some adulting? Uh adulting. Such a terrible necessity. Mm-hmm. Oh shoot, we've got a heat wave. We have 119 water, 48 stored. Oh, we need more mushrooms. The problem is we don't have a lot of people. I really wish our people would, like, get their groove on or something, but I know that's not a thing. It's just unfortunate. Am I enjoying the game? I really, really, really like the concept of this game. And it's so interesting having... Oh god, it's a heat wave. Brought back 14 stone. Thank you. Really need you to find people, though. Um, but yeah, I, I am enjoying the game quite a bit, actually. I think it's quite good. I love the concept of it. got some more berries right there. Looks like we're doing okay on the food, even though we cannot seem to get enough corn. You encountered a small group of nomads. Yes, please. Yes, please. Three more people. Reminds you of Deep Space Nine. Oh, that's a sand tornado. Danger zone. Several buildings have collapsed. Oh, that's great. What? Huh? 
What? Excuse me. How do I... Oh, they just do it automatically. Okay. Today, my brother complained that all I've done all day is play video games, and I told him, sounds like somebody is a hater. <laughs> he got salty after that. Nice. <laughs> Haters gonna hate, and taters gonna tate. Live your best life. Yes, quarry. I realize now what this actually is, the sawmill right here. They go next to these and it just works off of this big stump. So there's 200 wood right there. That's pretty cool. A Domino's ad came up. Ooh, I need my tacos. So excited for tacos. <laughs> Live a simple life. <laughs> oh, I know I usually try and keep new games to uh, to an hour, and I just realized it's already over an hour. <laughs> you can tell when I like a new game. It's hard to stop. What is this about this adulting on a Saturday of all days? Yeah, that's blasphemy. For sure. 100% blasphemy. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing with my life. <gasps> Anbu food! We must yeet into the mouth hole of our friendly neighborhood Anbu. Ex freaking excuse me, I know you just put food in there. Maybe not. Look, it's right there. Look at it. Hmm, there we go. Yeet! You can keep going this time. <laughs> so good. What happened? Anbu seems unsure about which path to go. Oh, do I get to help pick? Pick them up. Great, two hungry people. Fantastic. That being said, I, I should stop here. <laughs> as much as I don't want to. Um, I like trying to keep the first, uh, thing for a new game, uh, a little bit shorter to make it more accessible for people to figure out if it's a game that they will like or not. Uh, but thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. You wonderful, wonderful beans. Uh, tomorrow, uh, I think we'll do two streams because I would like to play more of this and I would also like to play Disney Dreamlight Valley. Um, so I think that is the plan. Also, if you haven't picked up your Aragon plushie over on Makeship yet, you got 13 days left to do so. But I hope you all have a fantastic night. I'll see you all in the next one.